We're going to look at something a little bit different in this video. We're going to have a look at how we can get text to flow into different parts of the screen. Now, we've got this block of text like this, and OK, we could split it into several columns, but what if I want it to start here and then maybe carry on over here? Well, we could shorten that up and then we could create another text box here and then we could copy and paste the rest of that but it's not particularly effective because what if we want to change this later we have to keep on shuffling the text around so what we can do instead is we can click on that little dot 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 now remember I told you this only appears when you've got too much text in your frame so I'm going to make it a bit shorter I'm going to click on the dot 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 and you can see I've got this kind of jug here and what this allows me to do you can see the dotted outline of this text frame appearing here is I can click on that and you can see that the text appears here now if I shorten this more text appears here now there's a dot 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 here so that means if I really want to what I can do is I can put in another text box say down here and we can then pour into there and so as I change my page around you can see that text just automatically flows in that order between these three places and you can click forwards and backwards to see where the text will go next we can even change these around so I can put this maybe here and then maybe this one is going to go down here now this works as well with the pictures so if you drag a picture over the top maybe even obscuring part of two frames and I'm just going to bring that to the front so and bring that to the front again and you can see that as I move this around both of these are flowing around it and it's forcing the flow to go into this last text box as well you can do this between pages too so if I click up here I can insert a page there we are how many do I want to insert and before and or after I'm going to insert a blank page and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this and then I'm going to paste it and because I've cut and pasted it I need to redo the flow so I'm going to go from there onto the next page and select my text box and what we should be able to see is that if I change this and I make this shorter we should have more text appearing on the next page which we do and in fact it's overflowed again so in this way if you've got a large block of text you can just arrange it on your page or copy it in from a word processor and then you can make it flow around all of the bits that you've got and you can also do things with it uh, in terms of making it move around the page like this so that's all we're going to have a look at for now but I hope that that gives you an idea of what Publisher can do and why it's in fact different from Microsoft Word